right now, protesters storming the streets after a deadly police shooting over the weekend. The demonstrators taking their message to what's normally a pretty quiet Paradise Valley neighborhood. That is our top story tonight. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kariva Devine. And I'm Tramai in for Mark Curtis tonight. Let's get right out to Team Tolls Bianca Bono, who's been following the protesters for the last few days in their call for police transparency. Bianca? Yeah, guys, this new wave of protests was ignited by the death of James Garcia. He was killed in an officer involved shooting over the weekend, which is now being investigated by the FBI. But that was out in Maryvale. So you might be wondering why protest here in Paradise Valley? Well, organizers tell me they wanted their message to be heard by the many wealthy residents here who they say often hold a lot of power. Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Tense moments after a man drives into a group of protesters in Paradise Valley. The group calling for an end to systemic racism and police brutality, moving their protest to the affluent neighborhood for the first time. Well, we feel like the people over here on this side of town, they have more effect within like the voting system, within lawmakers, and so we wanted them to hear our voice too. Around 40 protesters briefly shutting down Lincoln Drive, making their way through the typically quiet streets of Paradise Valley, hoping residents here and Governor Ducey are paying attention. Ducey, I, what I really want to say to you is, I want you to do a better job as governor and to policing your police. And I did speak briefly with the man who was driving that SUV. He tells me he feared for his safety. The protesters tell me they are all physically okay. Paradise Valley police are aware of that situation. For now, we're live in Paradise Valley tonight. Bianca Bono, 12 News at 10.